Hello guys, in this tutorial we're going to explore uh, gradients in uh, SketchUp. So the first thing that we're going to do is create uh, a shape uh, so that we can uh, actually see some gradients and uh, what we're doing. And uh, let's adjust a little bit of radius. And uh, I'm also going to remove uh, the borders and uh, add uh, just a bit of uh, a drop shadow um, so that uh, it will pop up a little bit better. Okay, so the gradients, uh, um, you can use them in the borders and uh, in the fills. So both of them are good. And uh, you simply have to go under the fill. And uh, as you can see, we have uh, three types uh, of uh, gradients. We have the linear gradient, which uh, if I select this one, it's going to be easier to see. So as you can see, the linear gradient has uh, two um, edges and you can modify and uh, tweak the gradient direction if uh, you simply select and drag the borders. So one of uh, these two points. Um, the second type of gradient is the radial gradient. And uh, if we zoom out, uh, we can uh, easily see that the radial gradient is uh, in fact a radius. So it's a big circle that uh, will give an effect of uh, creating a different gradient in the center of the circle and uh, in the other section. So this can be really useful, especially to create uh, um, maybe landing pages in which you have uh, a main uh, character or a main point of attention in the center. And um, this really can drive um, attention uh, more easily. And the third type of gradient is the angular gradient. And uh, this is maybe a gradient that you want to use as often as the the previous two. However, it can be really handy uh, in some uh, occasions and uh, you can really play with it. Um, you can also add multiple points so that you can uh, create uh, uh, effect, different effects and uh, maybe illusions of uh, 3D, uh, but that's true also for the other ones. So this is the, the gradients um, at a bird's eye view. This is just like an overview. And uh, if we um, check the first one, uh, we can also see how flexible they are. And uh, you also have some global gradients at the bottom, which uh, are standard gradients, which come with uh, sketch. And uh, I think that they are pretty nice. Um, however, you you will likely um, go, going to tweak these, and uh, this is a really nice one. It's basically a, a um, gradient which can go into transparency. So, if for example we select this one and uh, we'd like uh, this edge on the right to be transparent, we can simply move uh, down this uh, um, this toggle over here and uh, it's going to be uh, transparent. So even if we add like some, uh, um, some elements uh, behind it, uh, let's bring it to the back, we can see that there is a uh, transparency occurring and uh, this can be really useful in some occasions. And um, yeah, I mean, gradients for the most part um, or things that you want to explore and uh, uh, tweak based on, on the project. And uh, one thing that I like to do is uh, usually also uh, download uh, um, some gradients from other resources. You can simply Google um, gradients for SketchUp and you're going to see uh, all sorts of results and you can simply download them directly from the website. And um, these are really, um, they can really be useful and uh, you can create uh, all sorts of uh, effects with this. So yeah, this is pretty much it for uh, this tutorial. If you have uh, any questions um, around uh, gradients or even SketchUp or UI UX design in general, feel free to reach out to me and um, I will uh, see you in the next video.